Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're painting Mojo Jojo as a zombie. First things first, I'm going in with Wicked, this beautiful jelly purple color. Now for Mojo Jojo, instead of his hat, we're gonna give him a brain. So let's start by drawing out a long square. I guess you could say it's a rectangle, but not even. It's like a long square. And then we're gonna round out the sides at the top up here. We're gonna fill that all in. The color I'm using is sugar high. And now we're gonna add some humps at the top of this brain and on the sides, cause we want it to be juicy. Brains are not flat, so give them a little bit of hump. After that, grab your favorite black liner gel. In this case, I'm using my brand's Baddest Black, and we're gonna go ahead and draw a line in a swooped down here V. Now using the shade Afterlife, I'm gonna go ahead and draw out these two sideways teardrop shapes. These are where we're going to place his eyes, and directly below that, let's go ahead and draw out a nice big circle. After we've laid out the eyes and mouth area, go ahead and fill all of that in and grab your favorite white liner gel and draw out his first eye right here. The other eye is gonna be super creepy, so we're gonna make this black because it's just gonna be a socket. Now we wanna add his pupil in this left eye and draw out his nose, which is a strange little M shape. Now, to give him a creepy mouth, we're gonna go ahead and do an upside down kind of swooped U with some stitching lips. By the way, you guys, I'm using the 9mm Dream Liner Brush now from my brand. Now we're going to draw out his body. So using Blue Daba D Liner Gel, we're going to go ahead and do a line with two swooped lines on each side of that, extending them up all the way to the eye area. They're going to connect directly in the middle of his eyes and fill that all in. Now using Oops, I Did It Again Red Liner Gel, go ahead and draw out this little cut situation. And now we're going to draw out a little skeleton body. We just want to make it look like a rib cage, so just draw out a few different various lines. After that, we're going to cure and take our shading gel and directly over the outline of it, add some shading. Taking your black liner gel, we're going to draw out each side of his face, and then we're going to do two little swoops on each side to give him some hair. Now we want to fill all of that in with black gel polish. You see me here just doing a really thin outline for around the mouth. If you guys are enjoying this tutorial, please give me a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to paint next. Down here, we're gonna draw out his feet with one line in the center, two sideways lines on each side, and literally just follow the line pattern and the feet are super easy. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill all of that in down here white. Taking our black liner gel, we're just gonna go ahead and outline the feet next. By the way, guys, everything that I'm using in this video, as always, is from my brand and I'll list everything I used in the description below. Now for each side, we're gonna do an arm, whatever you can fit. I just drew out one right here and then I'm gonna add a little piece of one on the other side. I couldn't really fit as much on this side of the nail. We're gonna go ahead and fill in the ears right here. And then after that, we're just gonna give him some detail in the ears and also outline those ears too. When I got to the ears, I was trying to think like, what am I gonna do with these hands? So I decided instead of his creepy gloves, let's give him a skeleton hand. So I just went in and did a couple different strokes of white to create this bony little hand down here. After I finished the hand, I grabbed my black liner gel and now we're gonna outline where we started to do that skeleton kind of rib cage in here just to make the shirt look a little bit ripped right here. Now, painting this brain personally was one of my favorite parts of this nail. I don't know why I love painting brains so much. I always feel like it's coming out wrong. And then once you just lay down a bunch of swoops and make it look all squishy, it looks so cool in the end. For the brain, I'm using my favorite red liner gel, which is Oops, I Did It Again from my brand. And this red is so pigmented. You can just have fun doing this part. It really doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks little brainy, you got this. And then after I was finished with the brain, I mixed a little bit of white liner gel into that pink that we used earlier to create a little bit of highlights like this. And I thought it made it look really cute and cartoony. Now for my favorite part, we're taking some white trippy gel, rolling it into a ball, kind of the shape of his eye, laying it right here, drawing it out like it's his eye. And I'm gonna take my groovy glob gel in pink and make it look like it's coming out of his eye socket. Look at how cool that looks, you guys. I went with the matte finish and then I shined the eyeball in that little dangly part. And you guys, look at how cool this nail came out. I honestly don't even have words for how cool this is, but I really hope you guys will try this out and let me know in the comments who I should paint next. I have some short form tutorials of these other Powerpuff ghouls that I drew. So definitely go check those out if you enjoyed this video.